Gaku, welcome. What kind of impact is AI having on music production? Oh, that's such a good question. Well, first of all, there's a lot of noise in AI and music. People are making these songs, Drake and Weekend, mashed up together, etc. But the reality is that those are all a bunch of toys and they're gimmicks. And the real work of music production is actually still really hard. And people are still using ancient technology built decades ago to do music production. So um, for whatever it's worth, and I speak as a tech person, the tech industry is underinvested in music. And I can't wait for AI to create, uh, AI to enable the next generation of tools so that music production can be easier and more fun and allow a lot more people to come into the space to get their musical ideas out into the world. How important is human connection for the industry oh. and advancing music production? I spend a lot of time thinking about music and what music is fundamentally, especially as we get all of this sort of AI and generative AI stuff out there. And at its core, music is about turning emotion into physics, right? Into sound waves tempered by time. And it's about getting that emotion out. And sometimes you're getting it out and translating into the, the ears of the listener. And that listener is just you. Because you're just making it for yourself, or you're making it for your friends, or you're making it for your followers on TikTok, or you're making it for your fans, thousands of fans in a stadium who are crying because they can't believe they finally made it to this concert. But it's about that emotion getting translated. And so human connectivity is absolutely central, absolutely central to this industry. What does the future of the music industry look like? Well, the way I want to answer that question is to start by talking about what it's like today. Um, I've spent most of my career in the tech industry, so I'm a relative newcomer to music. But coming into this space, I see the tale of two cities. The first city is full of shiny, beautiful people, crystal lights, you know, disco balls, stages. And that city is about how do you find fame and fortune? You know, how do you become the next Rihanna? How do you become the next pop star? And there's a second city in exactly the same space. And this is the city of people who are creating music. And their space looks very different. It looks like computer screens and a whole bunch of gadgets and a bunch of wires. And that's where music production is really happening. And that city has been underserved and it's been underserved by the tech industry, it's been underserved by the music industry because everyone is chasing around how do you become famous? And they're ignoring that a lot of people want to create music for the intrinsic value of music creation. And so when you ask me what's the future of the music industry, it's really got to be more focus on serving the people who live in this second city more tools for creatives, more power in the hands of creatives, more content, more support. Um, and if we can do that well, I think this industry has an incredible future. So with all the hype around AI and new technology, ultimately humans need a way to express themselves in music is one of those and will always absolutely, be? Absolutely, absolutely, because the tools are too hard. You know, you and I, we take photos, right? We don't say, oh, we're not allowed to take photos because someone else is a great photographer. That's just a way of expression. But we, I mean, I met this woman who had been playing a cello for 16 years, and she said, I had to make a decision um, whether I was good enough or not. And I wasn't good enough, so I had to stop. You know, we don't do that with photography. We just keep going. And we all have those ideas inside ourselves around that we can put into music to express ourselves. We need that power and these next generation of AI-based tools should help us do that. So that's what I'm hoping for. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was really fun.